if this CO2 is in the atmosphere, how long is it lasting there? No one knows about it. It lasts there for 800, for 1,000 years. There is no mechanism which breaks the molecules into parts. They are just there. So the only chance to extract this CO2 from the atmosphere is planting trees. And the question is, how many trees do you have to plant to compensate the emission for a residential building? Nobody knows. And this is the research we are doing. And now in the meantime, we are offering, we are designing CO2 free or zero CO2 apartments or zero CO2 office buildings. And we reduce the amount of material, we make the building recyclable, we use recycled materials, and then we tell the client, okay, you have to buy 25,000 trees. Plant them somewhere, and those trees, they grow and they bind CO2, and after 10 years, they have binded all the CO2 emitted by the production of your house. There is no education of the people in these topics. How many trees do you need per kilometer in order to compensate the CO2 emissions of the cars? What does it mean if I drive with my car one kilometer? Okay, everyone knows there is 200 grams, 300 grams of CO2 per kilometer, but what does it mean? I cannot see it. So there's the problem. And I tell the people, if you have a 50-year-old tree, the maximum per day the tree can compensate CO2 is between 60 and 100 gram. So driving with your SUV for one kilometer necessitates three to five trees to breathe one day long. And if you don't have enough trees, the emissions will cause a global warming in addition to what we already have. And this is what needs to be outspoken out. This is what has to be placed on the table and this relation between the facts. What is the CO2 binding capacity of a tree? What is the CO2 emission of a car? What is the gray emission of a house? How can I bring that all together? And what is the compensation quality of grass and flowers and trees? It's a very simple, at the end, lecture. But nobody is giving that lecture. And this is where, where we engage ourselves heavily and very intensively in talks, in lectures, in podiums, discussions, or in publications or TV interviews or wherever. And this is a self-understanding basis of our work. We know those numbers, we know how to combine them, and we know how they influence our architecture. And our architecture and our engineering is influenced by it. And this is the big difference to other ones. Mm -hmm.